Hello, this is Catherine from The Brown Bag Teacher, and today I just wanted to do a quick tutorial about using and editing my classroom newsletters. And so these are newsletters with over uh, 20 editable templates, which means there are templates for every month and all, every theme from buses to recycling to swimming fins to pumpkins and apples. So lots of options to keep families engaged. And I found in my classroom that families were not no longer reading my newsletter, so I needed to mix it up. And so I offer these for your classroom. But I get lots of questions about how to edit the text and how to save it. So I just wanted to go ahead and do a quick tutorial. So you're on your TPT homepage and you've purchased uh, the resource. And so you want to hit download now. And when you do that, you're going to see it um, on the bottom. And so I'm going to go ahead. You can't see it right now, but um, if I scoot down, you can. So then I'm going to go ahead and you want to open it. And it should open in um, PowerPoint. And so you need to have PowerPoint to uh, use this resource. And so I have PowerPoint and... Um, I'm it's so right now is May so I'm looking for the end of the year so I sort with these little tiles because it's much easier to see everything because I have lots of different versions of the templates to meet your needs and I want to do the swim fin okay so I'm going to get rid of everything else so I'm going to just select and delete select delete and this way it makes it really easy to save it as a PDF Okay, so go ahead and just click. Everything is editable. Um, it's May 22nd right now. I go ahead and I add my email address, um, brownbagteacher at gmail.com. Obviously, you'll use a school address, um, but I'm just doing sample. So you edit whatever you need. We know June 1st is our last day of school. I would prefer it not be centered, so I'm just going to go ahead and left align and make it a little smaller. So let's say you're finished. Um, and so this is the question I get a lot. People want to be able to save one page, and so you just select everything else and delete it. But then you're going to go up and you're going to hit file, and then you're going to hit save as and you're gonna click, I'm gonna name it May 22nd, and on my desktop, I have a folder with all my newsletters. So I just made a new one for the sample, because I don't need to see how messy my normal one is. And so I'm gonna hit save. So I'm gonna replace my old one. Um, now this way you can just edit it for next year, and then save as format PDF. And when you save it as a PDF, replace, if you open, the desktop, the PDF is really nice because when you email it out, your families can't edit it. Okay, they, um, which is perfect. And so it stays put, they can't change your words, and it's a nice secure format. And it can open on phones and internet, um, the Dropbox, Google Docs, whatever they want. So there you go. So that, it's really easy to work with, but if you're struggling with just saving one page I wanted to quickly show you so just remember go ahead and go to the tile sorter the four like the four square type of thing and you'll select all the others and delete them so if you have any questions let me know thanks so much for watching and thanks so much for purchasing this purchasing this resource I hope it's a great addition for your classroom and so I'll talk to you soon thanks so much bye